great. I am here at Goodwill. I'm going to go look around real quick. I have a lunch date with my husband and um, so I figured a quick stop here. It's like right next to the place where we always meet. So I figured a quick walk around and walk you guys through. I found some really good stuff at this Goodwill. I mean any thrift store is hit or miss but this one always is usually pretty good. Um, I don't always buy stuff um, but there's always some good things to, to find. So anyway come join me and uh, it's a great sunny day so it's a great day to be out so loving it. on the UFO, Paris UFO. I don't think so, because I think this looks really well.
the purse. It must be free.
<laughs> okay, so just wanted to do a quick outro for this video. I just want to thank you for coming along. I just did a quick video today at the thrift store. I went to Goodwill and just kind of walked around. I like to do this about once a week. This specific Goodwill usually has some really, really nice stuff. Now lately their shelves have been a little bit more empty and I'm not exactly sure why. I remember, I think it was last week or a couple weeks ago, the one lady who usually is stocking the shelves was talking to another customer and she was mentioning something about the trucks not coming in or um, something about the trucks and deliveries and stuff. So I think a lot of the Goodwills must like shift a lot of their their um their drop-offs to the different ones so lately the shelves haven't been very very full in the past they've been like exploding like there's so much so much stuff on the shelves that it's really hard to kind of weed through everything um but now it's to the point where it's almost pretty empty and it's kind of frustrating because a lot of the other goodwills that i've gone to are like this how this goodwill was today like, like a lot of them have empty shelves or like big sections of like empty shelves and it's honestly frustrating because I know Goodwill does a lot of stuff online and I know they have their own website I bought something off of them years ago I think it was like an old Snoopy mug um, so I get their company they need to make money I like Goodwill I like that I can drop stuff off they'll just take anything like I don't I don't give them junk if something's crap I'll throw it away but like they'll take your stuff and um i love shopping there like their prices have been reasonable the prices have gone up over time but i've honestly i have honestly been to some thrift stores that haven't been goodwill and some of their prices have just skyrocketed there's one thrift store chain that i've gone to i'm not going to say the name but they're they are more of a ministry so i get where they're coming from but this one thrift shop chain um the last time I was at one of them, they had a bowl on the shelf, just a random shelf, not in a nice glass case, for like $50. I'm not saying the bowl wasn't worth that, but like your thrift store, you get all this stuff for free. Um, that's how I feel on one hand, but on the other hand, I understand some of these thrift stores do give a lot of their money to ministries. Like they have to pay for the overhead of the business and the employees, and then it goes to like different ministries and stuff or charities so I mean that's a good thing like that's worth putting your money towards so I, I don't want to fault people for that but it's really hard for me mentally going to a thrift store and paying retail prices like I just have a hard time with that um but going back to the Goodwill thing I still like Goodwill like they're still fair at least the ones around me the next county over I've been to their Goodwills and their prices are way way higher so it, it does depend where you live Honestly, so I am a little frustrated that lately the Goodwills have have more and more stuff, uh, less and less stuff on their shelves. So there's that. But I did find nice Corel wear. I found, um, what was the other thing? Lots of china. Like, granted, not a lot of people are, are buying the nice porcelain china anymore, which is a shame because there's a lot of beautiful, beautiful pieces. But I get it. I don't collect it myself. I've bought a few pieces and then I never use it. It sits in my house for a year or two. And if I don't use something, like I just, I don't want to keep it. It's just not, it's taking up space and I would like to collect something that looks pretty and is practical that I can use. I do have a few pieces in my house that are just for like to look at because they're pretty. Um, so, my dog's right in front of me here. <laughs> Sit. He likes to bark. He's so, no, no out, out out I'm sitting on the floor and I'm on, I'm in his space so he thinks that I'm here to pet him and love him so anyway so I spent some time there today I just I still love walking around there's there's one lady in there she's an older lady and she's always stocking the shelves whenever I'm there and she's always kind of like talking if she's working so sometimes she'll talk to me or she'll talk to other customers who are there she's just she's so sweet I just like her, her constant presence there is just, it's just cool. She's a, she's a sweet person. I just, I love seeing her there every day or every week when I go, but, um, I didn't buy anything today. Um, I didn't really see anything that was, I had to have back in the day, like when I was really, really getting into the vintage 
stuff like oh variety of stuff I was just gun ho anything I saw that I thought was cool I'd buy and uh, I'd, I'd like it for a month or two and then I'd sell it you know I could buy and sell it will it's harder to sell now I'm having a harder time selling things locally I have done eBay for a while but again I think I said in a previous video that I don't really do that anymore it's just the shipping and the post it once you get things posted it's not a big deal it's not it's not horrible but it's just not something that I was I enjoyed for a while and then I was done like just that's kind of how I am I'm, I'm very like I spent some time doing this and now I'm done but I still like to buy and sell locally I've noticed summertime is a really hard time to sell. I think because people are going on vacations and stuff, so their money's going towards like family fun. So sometimes I can do better in the fall, but I haven't sold anything recently for a while. Or haven't, yeah. And um, so that's kind of hard. So I'm trying to be very careful with what I buy because I don't, I don't want to be stuck with something. Even though I think it's really, really cool, I'm not doing eBay. No one's buying anything locally. And... I don't want my house full of crap. Like I have a, a pile of stuff in my basement that I had on eBay and I just kind of shut everything down because things weren't selling. So I just, I emptied the shelves in my basement. I just made a big pile. And so everything is sitting down there and no one wants the stuff. Like no one wants it. Like I think it's cool stuff, but I can't use everything and I get overwhelmed. Like I'm not, I'm not a minimalist. I like my stuff. But then there, I have a point at which I can't take anymore and I'm done and I don't want to collect anymore. So that's why I'm not buying a whole lot right now. But I still love going to thrift stores. I still love seeing what's on the shelves. Like last week at the thrift store that I just walked you through, they had this really cool ice bucket. It was, it had a pink handle, it was a clear bucket and I think it's something Caribbean or something on it. It, it had like a total like 80s, 90s vibe. So cool. I wanted to buy it so bad but I I'm, I already have like two ice buckets I don't need a third <laughs> and I don't use ice buckets so it's I gotta be practical and and stuff but I still really enjoy like walking around and stuff and and all that but um I just I wanted to share what I was seeing with you guys today and um just kind of the prices and stuff where I'm at you know where everyone lives it's different I'm a part of a lot of Facebook groups that collect Corning or Pyrex or vintage items or glassware, like different types of vintage glassware. Um, so a lot of people will complain that in their area they can't find such and such. Or if they do, it's like, you know, $50 for around me, it's like $5. So um, it's just, it's very interesting. It's very interesting to see what things go for, what people are asking. So. And where I used to live, the next county over, they had a ton of antique shops that I used to go to all the time. And again, five, ten years ago, the prices were reasonable. And now when I walk through these places, it's like, it's ridiculous. It's so high. So if you want something, you have to really, really want it and save up your money because it's just it's so pricey. But anyway, I'm sure I've talked enough. I'm going to end this in a second here, but I just, I really appreciate you watching this if you're watching it. Um... At this point in time, I really haven't had a whole lot of views on my channel, but I understand trying to grow a YouTube channel takes a while, and that's cool. Um, but I just want to do what I enjoy, and if I get a handful of people who enjoy what I enjoy, I'm happy with that. I would really like to, to share things that I enjoy and not try and, not try and cater to a huge demographic just to have a channel. I don't want to lose myself along the way. And I'm just saying this for my own sake. I'm saying this for like accountability because I really, I have a lot of things that I enjoy and, um, you know, I just, I want to share that and I want to just create a group of people who enjoy the same thing. I just this morning was on like eBay and Etsy and getting a lot of ideas for the next project I would like to do and something I really would like to create. It's nothing big. It's just for me, something I get excited about. So I will... I'll figure that out. I have to buy a few things though. And um, uh, I, like I said, I think in my video previous this, that I've kind of done a little shopping. <laughs> so I'm just trying to wait a little bit before I do some more shopping. I'm trying to be practical and, and, and wise uh, with my spending, but um, I'm really excited to do this next project. Um, it's just a piece of clothing that I want to dress up basically. It's nothing, you know, major, but 
I'm really, really excited about it. And I found something from Etsy that I think will make it really cool. At least in my head it's cool because sometimes when you picture something, I don't know if you have this problem, like when you get really creative, you think of what you want to make and then you go to make it and it's like, okay, it was way cooler in my head. Like it was way more fun and edgy and, and out there. And it's like, okay, it looks like a five-year-old made this. <laughs> but, oh well. I guess if you're making it for yourself and you like it for yourself, that should be enough. But anyway, all right, I'm gonna end this here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm sorry if I talk too fast. I'm trying to work on that and trying to like pronounce my words clearly. Um, I just get excited and I talk fast. I used to have uh, the one girl I used to work with at the one I used to work at, she and I would both talk really, really fast and we would have these conversations back and forth. And the customer, <laughs> The customers would be like, I don't know what you girls are saying. You're talking so fast. And uh, we would just start laughing because we knew what the other one was saying because we both were like the same speed and the same back and forth. We would talk about our weekends and oh gosh, I miss those days. I miss those days. Anyway, I'm going to end this here. I'm done. I promise. I'm done now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Have a great day and a great weekend. Stay blessed. <laughs>